if you are an Optimizely web customer or you're a potential Optimizely web customer and you're thinking about heat mapping software, then this, my friend, is the video for you. A heat map is a data visualization tool that you can implement on your website that will show you exactly what's working on your website and what isn't. Heat mapping software will allow you to analyze your website and see how your customers are behaving. It's possible to combine your experimentation tool with a heat mapping tool to get the ultimate in learning. There's some really great heat mapping software on the market. So we have tools like Hotjar, or if you have a bit of a bigger budget, Content Square. Now, for a lot of people, because time's a little bit tough at the moment, some people won't have the budget for heat mapping software. And this might mean that some people might consider other experimentation tools which include heat mapping, or they might just give up on heat mapping at all. And if that is you, that would be very sad. <laughs> If you are currently in this position, then this is the point of the video where I have some great news for you. Because it's possible to include heat mapping inside Optimizely Web for zero money. Huzzah! I know something else that's really going to turn up the heat in your household. And that is subscribing to my channel by smashing the subscribe button right now and helping me out with that magic, that pesky YouTube algorithm by clicking on like. Now, if you haven't come across my channel before, my name is John and I've been working with Optimizely for about 20 years. So if you want to learn all about Optimizely and how epic it is, then you know what to do. And as a little thank you from me to you, I'm going to show a picture of Optimizely CEO, Alex. Microsoft Clarity was released in 2020. And Clarity is a screen recording and heat mapping tool. And the best bits, it's free of charge. Now, in order to get started with Clarity, you just need to create a Microsoft account. In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to set up that account, how to configure it with Optimizely, and we're going to see some heat mapping in action, baby. Woo! So to get going, we want to head over to clarity.microsoft.com, add in your Microsoft accounts or create a new account. Then after you get to this screen, click on the big create new project button. Clicking on this, you're going to be asked to put in a project name and your website URL. After doing that, you're going to see a screen that looks like this. And then from here, you're going to have three installation options. And the one that I use is the install manually. Clicking on this option is then going to give you access to that JavaScript. So you want to copy this JavaScript to your clipboard and you want to paste this inside your website. Now, this is my website HTML code. And if we look here, I've already added in my snippet. So my snippet is in the head section and that's key. The other thing to note is that I've also put my Clarity snippet above my Optimizely web snippet. And again, this is important. Once we have our snippets inside of our HTML, if we do a inspect and a network, and if we filter by JavaScript, what we should see is that if everything's gone according to plan, we've got a 200 request made by Clarity JS. After installing the Microsoft Clarity snippet and then pushing that code in production, the next step is to log into Optimizely Web and enable the Microsoft Clarity plugin. Now, to do this, you'll go into Optimizely Web, you'll go to Settings, and then within Settings, you're going to click on Integrations you're going to see that there's a button which says create new analytics integration. Click on this and then select using JSON. Now this is going to pull up the create editor from JSON extension. And the JSON that you need to get is linked to in the article underneath. I've also included the JSON that you need to paste in on my GitHub. So check the link below. What happens is you're going to get some JSON that looks like this. You're then going to paste it into this. Click create extension. Off you go. After you've created your extension, when you look in your list, you're going to see this custom clarity integration. And what you want to do is click on it. Yours will be off by default. So the next thing you want to do is enable this integration. Now, in order to get clarity to work on every single different type of integration, there's a big edit button. So if I move this over here, you can see that there's edit down the bottom. Clicking on this edit button and then from this screen, click on the settings button. 
Then from settings, I recommend that you have this checkbox enabled, which is enable this integration by default for all new experiments. Now, if you've got existing experiments like I have, go to the experiments tab. From here, click on one of your existing experiments. Then from here, click on integrations. You're going to see there's this checkbox here. Make sure it's enabled and then click on the save button. With Optimizely now being successfully configured, head back over to Clarity. After logging into Clarity, you want to create a specific experimentation filter. And if I'm honest, getting this working can be a little bit fiddly. So what we want to do is click on the big filter button at the top. Now clicking on filter, click on save the last 30 days. Now what you want to do is click apply once. Now the reason why we do this is to update some data. Now if we click on the filter button again, what we'll notice is that when we go down to customize filters all the way down here, we've got this customized tag section. And clicking on this, you'll see that we've got Optimizely. Then clicking on the second button right here, we then have the option to pick what experiments that we want to start adding into our filter. So let's add in all my experiments, and then I can click Apply. Now the reason why we had to do that two-step is that often when you log in here, you won't see anything in here, just run through the process twice. Now, after we've done this, we can then click apply. And then after we click apply, you want to click on this save as a segment so you can create a filter and use it in the future. But access your filter after creating it. Once you had your filter up, job is a good one. Now that the two products have been successfully hooked up, you're probably wondering what can we do in Clarity? Now, as soon as you go into any single Clarity project, the first screen you're gonna see is the dashboard. And from here, you're gonna get a complete analytics breakdown of how your site's behaving. From here, I expect to see insights like sessions, pages per sessions, you can see popular pages, and then you can get some information about dead links, JavaScript errors, and a breakdown where people are accessing your site by device, by operating system, by browser, and by country. Now, where things start to get a little bit more juicier is in the second recordings tab. From here, you can actually see videos of how people interact from your website. So on the left-hand side, you'll see a number of videos. You want to pick the ones with the bigger durations because they are more interesting. Then clicking on the play button is going to allow you to see how people interact. Aside from screen recordings, as promised, Clarity will also give you a heat map of all your most popular pages. And to access that report, you go to the, the heat map tab, heat maps. Now, one thing which really confuses me sometimes is I come in here and I can't figure out how to view my heat map. And if that happens to you, what you want to do is get this little checkbox here where it says URL parameters, switch it to off, and then straight away you can see that we've got this toggle of view heat map. And clicking on either of these options is then going to generate my heat map. This is an example of the heat map report which will be generated by Clarity. Now, I've run this test on a dummy website I've created in the internet. There's only me that's been using it, so the data is not brilliant. Now, straight away, when we look at this report, we can see that we've got a very easy visual indication of where people have been clicking on the page. So we can see that people have been clicking on the navigation and on this banner randomly here. That was me. Now, on the left-hand side, we can see a complete breakdown of where people have been clicking. So we can see the number of clicks, and it's also possible to view a screen recording, so we can track their journey on the website. It is possible to view things on tablet and mobile. As well as clicks, we can also see scroll depth. So we can actually check how far people have actually reached on the page journey. We can also check the area. And the area is really handy so you can see which are the most popular elements on the page. And this can give us a good indication with some percentages to understand what we need to refactor, what we need to change, or where some of that potential friction is in the journey. You may be surprised how quick and easy it is to actually get free heat mapping with your Optimizely web software. But as you see in that process, running through the step should take you about 10, 15 minutes. And once you start using Clarity, you can see that you can get really useful data for free. But fundamentally, this is a fantastic tool and I highly recommend it. The final thing to say to me is that if you haven't already, please click on subscribe and the like button because that will make you a bona fide legend. I also do a Sunday newsletter, the link to is below. So if you want to keep up to date with Optimizely News, that's a very easy way. Now, the final thing I'd say is that if your video has piqued your interest about Optimizely Web and you'd like to learn a lot more about Optimizely Web, then lucky for you, I've recorded a video 
on Optimizely Web that you can click on now to learn way more about it. Enjoy. And until next time, happy coding.